So now I am 100% under the impression that it's just my Mount Vernon Walmart. All right, I'm going to cut in right here, guys, for copyright reasons. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know how I feel about my local Walmart. And this was just my attempt to show you how only 30 minutes away, how much better the Walmart was and how much more of an inventory they had. It drives me nuts to be in a city that I live in and just can't find anything. I've watched a few other content creators talk about that, so yeah. I really want this Jessica, Jessica Drew figure. I feel like I'm torn between getting it and not getting it. boy wave of a uh, PC multiverse crazy I just don't I just don't understand there's so much here and make I don't I don't know I don't know how this stuff works man and I know that you know you can be in some places where figures just don't move like that but like how how can I capitalize on this? All right, I'm back one more time, and uh, you'll see in the next clip of my local Walmart in my city the difference. I mean, it's huge. One hour later. Okay, this is me randomly, same day, stopping at my Mount Vernon Walmart, and you know, at first glance, it looks like the same thing, but you know, it's so much less. Like I really feel like they just got stuff in the back, just chilling. Like, that's the newest figure that they have. And that, I got that wave months ago. Like, it's just so much less. And I don't understand, like, I'm 30 minutes away. How do they not have, I'm 30 minutes away from the last place I went to, the last Walmart in Centralia. And how does my Walmart not have half the things that that Walmart has? It doesn't make sense. So I did make my way over to the collectible session, section of, uh, my Mount Vernon Walmart and I did not go to the collectible section of that other Walmart and I regret that now I don't know why I didn't do that but these are the newest figures here in that section we on the gold label gold label DC multiverse uh, McFarlane toys uh, Batman figures Ra's al Ghul, Catwoman and Batman that all go together to create the Solomon Grande figure. Missing Penguin, I suppose. Yeah, that's the video game Batman version. But yeah, let's do uh, that. Man here. Got uh, Page Punchers, Dr. Fate, Supergirl. Nothing that I'm trying to get. I would like to get this Martian Manhunter. I still think that's a great figure. But nothing that I'm, I mean, I've done my damage for today. Today's Six Inch Showcase will consist of Marvel Legends, uh, Jessica Drew, McFarlane, DC Multiverse, Cyborg. I need to talk about that. And one of my personal grill pieces, Medicon Mafex. Number 105, Batman Hush. Let's talk about it. I don't need an offer. I don't even want to take an offer. I just need to get that bag of off you. This shit slapping don't get no sofa. All right, let's get into it. If I've got the phrase, it's giving correct, then this Jessica Drew, it's giving everything I never thought I'd ever have on my shelf as an action figure collector. Never did I ever think that I would have an alternative Spider-Man figure from the multiverse of Spider-Man with amazing hair texture, pinless joints, pregnant. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I, don't, I just never, never in the 
time that I've collected action figures that I think that this would be something that would I would have in my collection. But I'm so glad I got it. I'm so glad I got a hold of her. It was just something about it. I wasn't going to collect these Marvel Legends because I really didn't care for them. But ah, it was, it's something about this wave, this car back wave that is just, I don't know, it's alluring. It's not, I don't think it's on the same level as... Uh, I don't think it's on the same level as uh, Sentinel Toys. I would love to see Sentinel make something like this, but hands down, this is a figure that I'm glad I grabbed. Uh, Jessica Drew, played by Issa Rae in uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Part 1. It's just it's just really nice, It's just and it's fun. It's really fun. That's what I want to say. It's fun. It's just a fun figure. Uh, I think all the figures in this wave are really fun. I'm I'm hoping to get the rest. This is just it was a it was literally a just a spur to moment thing. I really didn't see myself getting this figure, but I'm really glad I did. Next up is a DC Multiverse Cyborg figure. And I want to talk about this figure. I mean, it's kind of old. It's not a brand new figure. I'm sure most collectors have. However, I want to ask Todd, yo, what? Where's the red? Wait. Where's the rest of the team, Todd? Where's the rest of the team? Why does this fi why is this figure alone? A, a Teen Titans wave just dropped, and I have no idea why this is the only Teen Titans from the animated series figure that I own. I mean, it's not the we it's a McFarlane figure, so you know the mobility of it, you know the the articulation. It's it's, it's you know it is what it is however it's a really good figure it looks great it's accurate all it has all the things that i enjoy in an action figure it looks like the content the content is accurate and it's posable for the most part um but it's 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 he's he's just by himself and that's what i don't get i don't it seems like a waste of content to just give a cyborg and not give us the rest of the Teen Titans from the animated series wave. I just, I don't know. I mean, I don't have any gripes with the figure itself. I guess my gripe is more so with McFarlane toys and seeing some of the things that they will give us and some of the things that they won't. I just don't get it. Now this on the other hand, this is 100% a grail piece, something that I've been after ever since I first laid eyes on it. My uh, Hush Batman. Oh man, it's just a it's just Mafex is just a I think it's just a great company. It's something that that was totally new to me. I had no idea about Mafex and a lot of overseas toy um retailers for that matter. But um there was no way for me to get this in stores. I, I wasn't able to find it anywhere. There was no way for me to get this um through any of the online stores that I frequent. Uh, so I had to buy him on eBay and, uh, it took me, it took me a little bit before I was able to get this figure. Um, and I'm so glad I did, uh, this, uh, Superman from, uh, the Hush Wave. Definitely. I just recently got Nightwing, man. I, I just love, um, Mafex figures. I have the, uh, um, tan suit Wolverine. Ah, man, it, it's just. If you're looking for something that looks like it came right out of the comic books, then Mafex is where that is where it's at. The articulation is great. It comes with plenty of accessories. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with it. Um, excuse my sorry posing. I I just really wanted to get this video out, so I'm just yeah, and I'm really really excited about this figure. I didn't even really have a plan on how to pose it in any particular way but um i just really wanted to say something about uh Mafex's, uh batman hush man i you know um I'm, I'm probably gonna try to i don't know i want every figure from this wave i want poison ivy i want catwoman i want huntress i i really want superman superman is 100 percent a grail piece for me and definitely something that I have to have in my collection. I see so many, I mean, FOMO is super real. I see so many uh, collectors with that Superman and it is just the pinnacle of what 
an action figure could be if you ask me and yes there's there's a lot of other toy companies that make lots of other superman but hey my fix just gets it right i don't know i don't know what they're doing out there i mean i wish this i wish my fix was something that i knew about long ago long ago i wish i wish i somebody would have called me sent me a memo sent me a text emailed me but you know it's okay i i finally got them it took a while but i got them uh like i said i do have um i do have dick grayson and i will be making a video featuring him in a showcase um pretty soon i hope and uh this is this is just bad this is just terrible terrible posing i couldn't even get him to stand up i gotta get i gotta take some classes with uh with uh just jay hernandez man i gotta get i gotta get or, or x manny man i gotta get or d amazing one of these guys man uh, uh articulated ninja some of you guys gotta help me out man i, I really want to show i really want to show my uh posing talents but i spend so much time literally looking for figures that man, I, I, uh, I barely get a chance to to play with my toys man and the one thing that all the content creators tell me to do is play with my toys i never do it i never do it because i'm so busy thinking about what video to make and and uh what figure i want next so you know this is just uh this is just something i was hoping to do hoping to show you guys uh i want to want to make my channel a little bit different give you guys something uh yeah, well, as different as I think different can be. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but uh, hopefully it'll evolve. It'll evolve into something else, and it'll get better. My posing is definitely going to get better. Uh, with that being said, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you can check me out on the next 6-inch six, six showcase. 6-inch showcase. I hope you can check me out again. Um, visit me here on the Best Mode 6-inch showcase, and... Uh, like subscribe follow all the things press all the buttons you know i it really helped me out i plan on doing a lot more videos in a short amount of time hopefully um and uh and that's my time i guess later guys